This video from Shop Stuff will take a closer look at the LCD customer and operator displays on the Casio SEC3500 cash register. The machine has a 10 line LCD tilting operator display. The display can be set at any angle from the standard down position all the way up to here. And when you enter your items on the sale, the item price and description are shown on the display. One of the best features of the machine is the review order mode. You press a button on the cash register keyboard and the till brings up the whole current transaction for you to edit. So you can scroll through the whole order, select a line that shouldn't be on there or you need to remove and simply remove it and you can repeat that procedure for every item in the sale. This is a lot better than other tills of this class which don't have such a large display. If we look now at the operator, sorry the customer rear display, it's a two line LCD display. You have the subtotal of the sale displayed, you have the price of the item entered and you also have the item description. So we see every item you enter appears on the customer display. The customer display can be set at any angle from here all the way around to here or can be set back down in the default position. We now cash that sale off. When you cash a sale off you also have the change that's required displayed on the operator display and the customer rear display. For this model Casio have kept the secure key lock function so you have a operator key which will only turn to the registration position for sales. You have a manager key which will turn to all the other modes so you can go to X for your X reports. You can go to Z position for your daily sales reports and you can go to X to Z to position for your periodic reports. If you use the reports correctly on this machine you can use your Z report for your daily sales total, you can use periodic 1Z for your weekly and periodic 2Z for your monthly report. If we turn the key back around to the other end we have RF so you have a mode specifically for processing refunds and you also have the PGM mode for changing prices or any programming on the machine. We have a quick look at the receipt that prints out. You obviously have a journal roll on the machine, but you also have a receipt roll of a sale frequently. The receipt can be set to switched off if you don't issue a receipt with every sale. And then if you hit the receipt button, you get a copy receipt of the last transaction. At the top of the receipt, you can have a four line header message, which you can edit to be your shop name, address or website or phone number whatever you need it to be. You have the date and time showing on the receipt and you also have all the items on the sale. For more information on the SEC 3500 please see the other videos shown on shopstuff.co.uk and there's an extensive range of information on the cash register on that website. Thanks for watching.